<clears throat> Hi everybody, it's me, Jordan here, and today I'm going to talk about this thing, and this thing that I like to talk about, you know, is called something that I like to call, you hold the door open for someone scenario. Now when you're holding the door open, you're being polite. You're being, you know, noble, whatever, a gentleman, a lady, whatever term you want to give it. But there are certain people out there who take the opportunity. Well, some people may take advantage of it, some people may not. I mean, Jordan said, how long are you supposed to hold the door open for someone? I mean, normally you do it. And, yeah, but then there are some people who do it and they take the whole time out of it. Like, for example, Jordan said, here you go. I got the whole door open. Well, thank you, Superman says. You're welcome. Then Diva Talks takes her flow time getting to the door. So I'm there holding the door open for a long time. And, you know, and then I close it. Boom. Hey, you closed the door on me. Sorry about that. But you were taking a long time holding the door open and I couldn't hold the door open that long. You're a creep. You know, Jordan says, you're um in an awkward position then. Because then if you're going to be polite to one person, you want to be polite to the other person. And one person always has to take milk or take full advantage of the whole situation, you know. It don't matter. You could be at school, work, whatever, you know. There's always going to be that person that does it. Now, some people might say that you really don't have to hold the door open for anyone, that it's a choice. Well, that is true. It is a choice to be polite, of course. Being polite is a choice. A choice that some people choose and some people choose not to be. Now, Jordan said, the reason that you are polite and respectable, or can, you know, or what's that word? I'm trying to think of it. It's in my head. Being courteous to others because you would want others to show the same respect to you if the situation was reversed. <laughs> Well, thank you for holding the door open for me. Ah, no problem. Thank you for waiting for me and hold the door open for me. Ah, you're welcome. You, you see where I'm getting at, don't you, Jordan says. That's why you do it. But I always thought there would be that scenario where if you were ever being judged, well, you know, ever being judged when you died and went to heaven, and that they were going through the re of everything you learned over the course of your life from tod from baby, toddler, kid, teenager, and adult. And they said, oh, you didn't hold the door open long enough for so-and-so one day or something like that. Wow. You know? But tell me, how do you do it? Are you one of those people who just keeps the door open and waits for people to come in? Or are you one of those ones that just holds the door open for some, and if you can't bother to wait for other people, you close it rudely in their face? Let me know, and I'm, I'll see you later.